The next thing we are going to be discussing is the general compounding formula. The um, general compounding formula is the future value of P dollars in T years at an APR of uh, capital R percent compounded N times a year is found by this formula. Uh, F equals P multiplied by the quantity 1 plus R divided by N. Now R divided by N, what that is, that is this right here is called the periodic rate. The periodic rate is found by the rate divided by n. Lowercase r means that that is the percentage in the form of a decimal. So you put the percentage in the form of the decimal divided by n. Um, multiply by the quantity n times t. Now the general compounding formula is talking about all of the interest that is compounded in a particular amount of time, number of times in a year. So let's say we're talking about something that is compounded quarterly. Well it would be qu uh, quarterly is compounded four times in a year so n would equal four. If we're talking about something that's compounded monthly, well, that would be some uh, that would be something that's compounded 12 times a year because there's 12 months in a year, so n would equal 12. So wherever you see an n, there's an n there, so you'd put a 12 there, and then there's another n, so you put a 12 up there. If you're talking about something that's compounded weekly, well, there's 52 weeks in a year, so n would equal 52. Uh, if you're talked about if you're talking about something compounded daily, well there's 365 days in a year, so n would equal 365. So you'd put 365 there where there's an n, and there, you'd put 365 there up there in the exponent as well. So now we're going to look at a particular, back to our financial advisory problem, but now we're going to uh, calculate the the interest, the future value on the money if we're using the monthly compounding formula. So since we're dealing with a uh, monthly compounding, we're going to actually be using the general compounding formula which is listed right here. So just to recap, I have $7,500 $7, in savings and I'm looking to invest into a U.S. savings bond for my son's college fund. He will be attending college in 15 years. My goal is to save $20,000 and I'm looking for the financial advisor who can make me the most money. Currently, the a annual percentage rate for a U.S. savings bond is 6%. What is my, it was the future value of my money after 15 years. So, since this is monthly, the interest is being compounded multiple times in a year, we're going to use the general compounding formula. So, the next thing we need to do is define the terms. The uh, principal or the present value on my money is $7,500. The rate, the APR, uh, lowercase, is uh, the rate in the form of a decimal, which is 0 0.06. It's 15 years, so that means T is 15, and it's monthly compounding, which means N equals 12 because there's 12 months in a year. So now we're just going to input these variables into the formula. The future value is what we're trying to determine, so we're just going to leave that as F. F equals P. P is the present value of the principal, which is 7,500 multiplied by the quantity 1 plus the rate 0 0.06 divided by n which is 12 all raised to the n which is 12 times t which is 15th power now remember this right here 0 0.06 that is the periodic uh, divided by 12 this is the periodic rate so if you have any questions that ask you well what is the periodic rate well it's found right here r divided by n 0 0.06 divided by 12 and just the answer of that division problem would be what the periodic rate is so Back to us trying to figure out what the future value of our money is. Now there's a lot of things going on, but it's uh, what we need to do is just follow the order of operations. The order of operations says we need to do the parentheses first. Now in this parentheses we have addition and division, so we're going to do the division first. So I'm just going to rewrite this problem. F equals 7500 multiplied by the quantity 1 plus 0 0.06 divided by 12. Now when you put that into your calculator, what you end up getting is 0 0.005. And that is all raised to the 12 times 15th power. Now since this is on the outside, we can just go ahead and do that multiplication. If you go 12 times 15, that ends up being 180. Now the next thing we need to do is just the order of operations. We need to do parentheses. We need to add these two numbers together. I'm going to rewrite it. F equals 7500 
multiply by the quantity 1 plus 0 0.005 just ends up being 1.005 raised to the 180th power. Now at this point we can just go ahead and uh, put this into our calculator. So I'm going to turn my calculator on. Uh, so the future value on my money is going to be 7,500. 7,500 multiplied by one, I put a little parenthesis there, so 1.005. I'm going to close the parenthesis and it's raised to the 180th power, so I'm going to use that little raised little carrot triangle looking thing to the 180th power and hit enter. And that means that the future value on my money, given these conditions, is going to be 18,405 dollars and uh, 70 cents.